I'm Danielle Stylin Matus at Caring Medical. I'm one of the prolotherapists in the Illinois office, and I see a lot of patients post-pregnancy um, in my practice that come in actually for kind of a slew of different things. A lot of women do come in, you know, for pelvic floor dysfunction post-baby, but it, it really, you know, pregnancy and the hormones related to it kind of take a toll on our whole body, so I see a lot of other conditions as well. Mostly due to the fact that when we're pregnant, um, there's this hormone called relaxin that's released throughout our whole body, whose main function is to relax our pelvis, um, you know, to allow the baby to come out, but it really travels everywhere. You know, it's just kind of like an equal opportunity hormone that can affect all of our joints. And one um, condition actually that I see that I had myself when I was pregnant was something that it's called mommy film, like in a layman's terms, but the medical term is de Quervin's tenosynovitis. So it's obviously easier to say mommy thumb. Um, and what that is, is the tendons here um, in your thumb that you can kind of see prevalent here, they actually get really, um, like the tendon sheath, the covering of the tendon gets really inflamed. And then what happens is the tendon can't kind of move back and forth as easily as it can in the sheath due to, the, to the, all that extra inflammation. And it's very painful. So if anyone's ever had this, like I had, it's hard to open a door, it's hard to open a jar. I'm a prolotherapist, you know, I do injections. That got really tough towards the end of it. And um, we actually have a very high success rate with treating this condition in, a, in maybe one or two different ways. Um, so just my personal story, at the end of my pregnancy, it was getting really bad, it was keeping me up at night. I actually had it on both sides. And Dr. Wesnicka, the other provider here, did a hydrodissection of those tendons, which is actually where we take a 5% non-inflammatory dextrose solution and inject it in the tendon sheath under ultrasound, which works by a couple different ways. Um, one is the fluid, just kind of the pushing of the fluid, helps to separate adhesions between the tendon and its covering, the sheath. And then that 5% dextrose, just that little bit of sugar, draws like swelling actually off of the tendon so then it's um, not so swollen in that sheath or draws um, swelling off of the sheath as well. So I actually did that. In my case it helped for a couple of days which was great but then it kind of came right back. And so after the birth of my son uh, what actually had to be done on my thumbs, what, you know, if you think about it, I'm a prolotherapist, I use my thumbs all day, I've got this relaxant in my body, I'm hypermobile to begin with. What had happened was the ligaments in my thumbs had just really kind of stretched out and I had all this instability in my thumb which was putting a lot of pressure on these tendons. Which is likely why the hydrodissection by itself didn't work long term because I really needed to kind of get a little bit deeper and tighten those ligaments up. So I had um, about three or four treatments of um, prolotherapy which is actually an injection that stimulates repair of those ligaments and also like more hydrosection, hydrodissection excuse me, on my thumb and it got completely back to normal and now I can work um, with no pain. But really like to people that had this condition, like it was hard for me to pick up my newborn baby, you know, because my thumbs were really painful and they would kind of lock on me and um, I'm very thankful that I was able to get this done um, so that I no longer suffer from that.